what we have here is a plastic tube with one shaft in it, another plastic tube there with the other shaft in it, and then I've covered it with um, wire to hold it in place, and then I've put a layer of two-pack epoxy on top of it at the moment. I've only done this side. When that's dried, I'll turn it over and do the other side. But that's our linkage to go from vertical to horizontal, or it will be when it's dry. I'll need to put a sort of a T piece across at this end to mount the motor on so we can link it all together. Making progress. Motor uh, just temporarily mounted in place. I haven't screwed it in yet. A bit of rubber tubing as usual. The stuff that always breaks on my boats. Connecting the motor shaft to the propeller shaft, or at least to this shaft. Gear there, gear there, shaft, propeller. That's taken from one of those garden ornaments. So if we give it a bit of power, so it looks like we've got the general idea. Needs to do a bit of tidying up yet. to arrange some sort of hinge so we can actually turn it. But that's the general idea. some sort of hinge on the back here and then a servo just to pull that arm. That's the pivot or hinge sorted out. I've just bent um, a bicycle spoke that is. So I've put another bit of plastic tubing on there which I'll put some more two-pack epoxy on. That will just sit over the back. To make sure there's no chance of the boat sinking, I've given it some expanding foam. So I'm going to have to spend a bit of time trimming that before we can go any further. That's better. doesn't look quite so wild now. Just trimmed it with a nice sharp knife. So... Now we'll see about fitting the motor. And the radio control gear. Not quite all up together yet. Need to decide where I'm going to fit the battery and the receiver. And to tidy up the wiring, obviously, and the ESC. So I've got a servo tester on there at the moment. Got it rigged up to the servo, so we can just check the movement. So that looks okay. If we take that off and put this the other way around. be able to do the motor, yeah. Just thought I'd do a close-up to show what we've got here. So we've got the propeller that comes from a garden ornament on a shaft with a crown gear on it. Then we've got a toothed gear 
on the shaft that goes up the back of whatever we want to call this and it's connected to the motor shaft by a rubber uh, tube which usually breaks on my boats but I'm hoping that I'm going to be running this at lower revolution so I'm not going to stress it quite so much. And then the pivot mechanism is a second tube, another plastic tube there, that's sitting on the end of this bent bicycle spoke. So it can actually lift up and down if I want it to. Which might be handy for storage. And then we've just got a servo sitting there. It's connected to this little arm that I've got on the side of the motor. I have drilled another hole on that side so I can connect it to the other side of the servo if I want to, if I find that the steering is a bit too loose and sloppy, which it will be. But we're not talking hobby grade seagoing boats here, we're just playing around in the pond, so I think we'll be alright as loose as that.